Hello YouTube, NMP Zer here, and uh, this is part two of getting to God rank. And we're starting off the video with a Fujin. And this character is uh I think he's pretty decent, like he could be a little better, but he, he has enough tools to to get by, you know. He's not Liu King or Cassie Cage or shit like that, but you know, he can he can hold up his own. And as you can see, you're not just getting body. He has good uh, mid range too, and a decent uh, like speed, like dash speed. So getting in for him is not a problem. Good, good block from the hop low. Oh, and just uh, jab me out of whatever I was doing. That Z hat. If you see that Z hat, man, you can punish it. You just have to have good reactions. Oh, the. One two, one further than expected. That one two string I've, I've been using a lot more. It's a lot better than it seems. Like if you're playing loud, get used to using the one two string. There's one two one. Okay, we got the corner stuff. Oh, and that's a flawless. I didn't put it in the video when it says flawless, just up and go on to the next video, but GG. And uh, now we have a spawn. And spawn is a nightmare for Lao. Just his range on everything he does, like, like, you can't do anything. If you play spawn, like, mid to far range, Lao can't do anything. Or at least my Lao can't do anything, I don't know, maybe you're just a better Lao player than I am and you have no problem with spawns, but I do. But you see this right now, like him going in. He should try to like do it right there. Just keep it at that range. If he keeps it at that range, I can't do much, you know. I have to risk dashing in and stuff. Then you just back up. Yes, yeah, don't go in. See right there, he should have just stayed mid-range and used his chains to pressure me. And you can confirm up the chains, so it's not like you're losing pressure. Oh, that was a bad drop. Yeah, that was a bad drop. Alright, next round. The Lao Legend Grove. Round two. Fight. Okay, Z had pressure. Try to shimmy and yeah, see look at that. I can't even shimmy because of the, the range of the chains. Oh whiff buttons. I'll punish those. There you go, okay. Got the whiff into full combo. Into drop combo, actually. Okay, good reactions. A lot of people punish that late. That was like a 2-1-2-1-2 two, one, two, one, two string. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of people punish that late or don't punish it at all. Which is... Just gives me a free, uh, a free crouching low. That was just baiting that, like, whatever you do. Oh, man, GG's. I guess he gave up. Okay, so now we have a Lao. I also featured this Lao in my last video. And uh, he's pretty good also. But he uses uh, Omega Hat and Orbiting Hat. And I don't really like using those, that variation because uh, Omega Hat just uh, takes out way too much bar, like resources. And so does Orbiting Hat. And then Orbity Hat also takes away all your uh, hat actions for a bit. Like while it's out, you can't do any of the hat strings or throw a hat, anything. So that's, that's why I don't like using that variation. I just think it's it wastes too much resources, and it also takes away your uh, your options with the hat. Like you can't do forward two, uh, you can't do the uh, forward one one two string either, because all those require the hat. So it just gives you limited options that's why i don't really like that variation okay and uh he whiffed the button i take the round next round round two fight jump back that kick any button i would have uh i would have done that kick and oh okay he wasted all his resources and i broke away and if I could react to hops, that he would have been in a bad situation. But since I can't, he actually gained all the momentum with that uh with wasting all those bars. 
All right, so I guess this is just a high risk, high reward type thing. All right, you waste all your bars and gain momentum. And if you can, uh, you know, gain that much momentum, I guess it works out for you when wasting all those bars. And right now I'm probably gonna die, so I'm just trying to walk into the corner. All right, spiritual guidance cancels the throw. I just love doing that. But I did it for no reason. I just wasted a bar because he still won the round. So whatever. Next round. Oh, whoa, whoa, that was just a random back kick. Oh, look at that. He wasted all his bars, and I, uh, I guess the throw in. Well, that's it. Like now, you gotta take all this pressure. Oh my god, that was so risky. I just walk into him for like a full second or two. And I just back out and then do a crushing blow. That was nasty. Z hack cancel. That's a throw. Okay. So, damn, that, that was a, just a good uh, whole set play type thing. And that's just chip damage. Nothing you could do there, I think. Alright, GG's, man. So, next game we have a Gears. And uh, Gears is one of those characters that I think is super high tier, but I just don't see a lot of people playing him, and I don't know why. Like, his damage output is insane. He has, like, just good options on everything, or just about everything. His sand trap is, like, crazy. And I was uh, a good attempt to try to follow his block me, but that string, there's no gaps in it. So. Well, there's gap in the third hit, but he did it on the second hit, so. Uh, just getting bodied by 1-1. One, one. Just down 1, then 1-1. One, one. Oh, okay, he missed the throw. Okay, he doesn't fall for anything. He stayed patient, he blocked, he waited till I did my spiritual guidance, and then he punished. That's what you do to Lao when they're pressuring you. There's like, once I do spiritual guidance, there's not a lot I can do. Like, I'm usually unsafe. And oh! That was a down to confirm anti air confirm. That was nasty. Okay, I just didn't block the overhead. I don't play enough gears to like know all his strings. Sometimes they uh throw me off. Okay, that was a good flawless block. Okay, he tried to punish me, but he just wasn't fast enough. Yeah, me just getting hit is, uh, I think I'm just trying to flawless block it, and I'm mistiming it. That's why I just get hit, um, with the jumping one, or, yeah, jumping one or two. I don't know what he does. Uh, okay, flawless block, that was nice. I didn't go for anything extra because I was afraid he was going to break away. Oh, just dash, dash, hop. Yeah, that was bad. It sucks when you miss that, uh, that forward, forward to one string line. They jump over you or sometimes they, like, roll. Like, if they just tech roll backwards or forwards and you're just done. And I don't know, I swear to God, I pressed uh, the Amplify to get that crushing blow, but it just doesn't come out. And, oh my, he could have punished that, but he didn't. Alright, GG's, man. Let's move on to the next game. Alright, now we got a Liu Kang. And uh, it's always fun playing against Liu Kang. I mean that completely sarcastically. With Liu Kang, I always feel like... I'm on the short end of the stick. Just look at all those buttons are so fast. Oh, that was a bad mess up. He could have done way more, but I guess he just wanted to throw into corner. Yeah, you could punish that. Oh man, I could have confirmed. Old man reaction, bro. Uh, 
bodied in that corner. Round two, fight. Alright, at least I am ready this time. And wow, just boys, I just wake up down two. Whatever works, man. Oh, oh my god, so bad. Somehow I still made it to bad prank, alright? Don't judge me. That was lucky. Oh, okay, he tried to go for the other to end the stream. Oh my god, those uh those staggers are crazy man. I'm just so afraid to press a button. Okay, there you go. Okay, try to stagger again. And oh, he shouldn't have broke away there. Now he starts the next round, which is the last round. He starts it with no uh, defensive meter. Oh, yeah, that was a good uh, jump to throw. No confirm, though. I probably did a uh, 2 1 2 1 2 1, I guess. Like one more input, and you can't uh, cancel into spin. Yeah, sometimes that match is too hard. Oh, good conversion on the down two. Really good conversion on the down two. It was away from the corner. And oh my god, I can't believe I just pressed the button like that. Alright, GG's. Next game. Alright, for this last game, we have a Raiden. And uh, I've seen a couple of Raidens actually. I think they're starting to get more popular. And they're actually starting to become a problem with that move right there. Uh, a lot of them go for the teleport, and honestly, it's not that hard to play against people that have the teleport if they don't if they don't do keep away. Because if they do keep away, then it's a problem. But most of them try to teleport in to apply pressure, and for some reason, I could just react to the teleports, so it's not really a problem for me. Yeah, and I, I see. I keep thinking that when he does that, he's gonna stagger. So I I let like go block and try to press something. And no, sir, he just does that move and he's completely safe. Okay, going to my little mix ups. Yep. Hard knockdown, Z hat. Try to shimmy, then he look out. He stay patient, and again, I just do the same thing and wake up fatal blow. I'm not below that. And plus, I kind of thought he was going to do that. So, yeah, that worked out for me. Almost died, though. But uh, that's the end of this video, because this guy, I guess, he just got really salty, and he kind of just left the game. So, uh, GG's anyways, man, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.